again go back though to August uh, 2015 because uh, I mentioned that email that was sent to Keith Brown on the 20th of August. Come the 31st of August uh, 2015, um, the First Minister comes to the yard uh, to announce that FML uh, is the preferred bidder yes. uh, for the contract. I mean, that must have strengthened your hand in any negotiations uh, that were taking place, didn't it? Well, it, it, it didn't because, you know, having been named as the preferred bidder, you would normally expect and we expected the order to be signed by September. We didn't sign the order until the 16th of October because we were holding out for some changes that we wanted to the contract. It wasn't acceptable to us in the form that we had uh, seen it. But from a negotiating position, um, the First Minister, uh, the head of the government, uh, the leader of the, uh, of the SNP, uh, comes along and announces uh, Ferguson Marine as the preferred bidder. Yes. I mean, um, she would have been made to look pretty foolish, wouldn't she, if five and a half weeks later it was decided to put the contract back out to tender. So that must have strengthened any negotiations you were having with CMAL about the builder's refund guarantee. Well, we'd already agreed that before she announced it. You'd agreed the builder's refund guarantee. Yes. And what was the agreement? The agreement was that, um, I think the final agreement was that we would put up uh, a cash deposit of 25 million initially, and then all, all materials and all work, the ownership of everything that went into the vessels would, would be the property of CMAL. So we had no work in progress, we had no value in all the work that we did or equipment we bought. It transferred to their ownership. And our argument at the time was they've got better than a 100% refund guarantee because they've got everything that's going into the vessels and they've got 25 million, um, which is on deposit that can be called. That later uh, was changed into a 15 million deposit and a 25 million um, bond, insurance bond, which in the end they didn't claim. They forfeited claiming that 25 million bond. Um, so we we put in place, and we also offered up a parent company guarantee. So we offered up an alternative to the um, to the the idea of a cash refund guarantee. Now a cash refund guarantee means that if it's a hundred million contract, you have to deposit a hundred million pounds in the bank. Cash is a cash refund guarantee. Um, the, and and we, we addressed this before we really put a lot of work into the um, into the proposal, the tender. And I think uh, you have papers that show that we did bring this up with the local MSP, or the local MP, who um, I think had approached the Scottish Government. I don't know who he approached in it, but the response came back from Derek Mackay saying that Stuart had um, raised the issue of the, the guarantees with him. He explained how the cash refund guarantees worked to Stuart. I have the document here that says all of that, the one from uh, Derek Mackay, who was the transport minister at the time. And it says that whilst CMAL um, prefer to have a cash refund guarantee, they have in the past waived this for an alternative. And that gave us the green light to go ahead and put the resources in to make to do, to put in the tender because a lot of work goes into these tenders, and you know we weren't going to go ahead and do all of this if we weren't if if we weren't going to be allowed to negotiate some different form of guarantee. Now I'll tell you why we can't do it, and and many companies in the UK can't do this against foreign competition. Because in Germany, the National Investment Bank put up the bonds for Flensburg, the shipyard there. In Poland, they get backed. In, in, in Finland and in Holland, in, in most European countries, it's not a burden on the company that's placing the order, that's the receiving the order. The government stand behind it. And I asked, my, my first approach to the government was, 
can you stand behind this bond as they do overseas? And they said, no, because we are, we are the buyer as well. There's a conflict there. So we had lots of discussion about how we might be able to do this. And we, we put forward various options and, and they're on record. And they were agreed before the First Minister announced the um, uh, and announced that we were the preferred bidder. But, but that appears to be at odds with the email correspondence, which has fairly recently come to light uh, on the 8th and 9th of October, where there were serious mis misgivings expressed by the board of CMAL um, about the award of the contract without a builder's refund guarantee. Well, I can only show you what what we have. In we've got, we've got um, evidence, we've got emails showing that what was offered to, to CMAL and what they accepted. And this is by the 31st of August 2015? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. 